My name is Ann Davey. I'm Nadine Cunningham. I'm Spencer Diagostino. And we are the co-presidents of the MDEA. We are so sorry that we are not able to have our annual retirement event in person, but we are very grateful to Kevin McGrath and Natalie Crockhammer, our communications director and our secretary, for helping to put this together and to all of the participating staff who took the time to gather their thoughts and pay tribute to this amazing group of retirees. Between the three of us, we have been fortunate enough to have experience with each of these folks listed here today. It is a long list, a distinguished list, including professionals from all parts of our education community. We think it's fair to say that this year has been like no other in your long careers. And we have heard more than one of you say that you're getting out just in time. But in all fairness, this year does hold similarities to education in general. Our profession has always been challenging. Educators have had to be adaptable, creative, and persistent. You have been all of these things and more. For years, you have dedicated yourselves to students and families and to the well being of the Martha's Vineyard community and the public schools here on Martha's Vineyard. Thank you so much. While we know your careers brought you a special kind of fulfillment, we are excited for you as you move on to the next chapter, a well deserved chapter that will hopefully bring you joy and happiness and allow you to direct your energy towards something else that you love and feel passionate about doing. Thank you for being our colleagues, our mentors, and our friends. We wish you all the best. Congratulations. Congratulations, Congratulations to all our retirees. You have reached an exciting part of your life, an opportunity to start another career or spend time with family. Thank you very much for all your years of service to our students. And remember that you're always welcome to come back. Congratulations and enjoy. Proud to be from OB and proud to be a part of the Martha's Vineyard Public Schools. Congratulations to all of you, the retirees of 2020. They say that everyone can be replaced. I want you to know I've never adhered to that simply because that's not true. You all have filled many lives throughout your time in our schools with joy and support for our children and our colleagues, and that can't be replaced. We can only hope that we build upon the great work that all of you have done for us. All of you will be missed, and I congratulate you. And I want you to know that I truly appreciate the wonderful legacies that you've left for us. Congratulations again. I wish you all the very best. I have great respect for all the teachers that have worked directly with the students. And I also admire the staff that work in the office behind the scenes. So here's a shout out for Barbara Armstrong at Tisbury School, Bonnie Tilton and Judy Pizeller at the high school, and Jean Burke, the MV Adult Learning Program Director. Thanks for all you've done for students and staff. Congratulations to you all. Hello, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to all the MVYPS staff and teachers who are retiring this year, 2020. I'm so grateful to have had many of you as teachers when I was a student in this school district and also to get to work with some of you as colleagues over the past few years. Uh, I wish you a happy retirement, healthy and vibrant retirement, and I hope you take care um, and certainly see you around. Hello retirees of the school year 2020. Um, Natalie finally persuaded me in her 50th thousand email to make a little recording to wish all of you the best and um, I'd say there's not a better year to retire from teaching but I did want to say a couple things about a, a, to a couple people and one is Jean Burke who's built a super program in the night program that has affected so many people and you should be proud of that so congratulations you can finish um, your career very proud of all that you've done and I'm glad I was a part of that Barbara Armstrong I congratulate you and being in the front lines of the Tisbury school this year which is no small feat you deserve a purple heart 
for that and you will surely be missed and I appreciate all the help you've always given me as a parent of the Tisbury School. Jen Robinson, I will always appreciate how your love of the students came first and foremost above anything else and how difficult it was to pull students from your class because you truly wanted every student a part of every activity and that's a rare teacher and I salute you for that. The rest of my roasting will come in another space and time for you, my friend. Marcy Clapper, you can come anytime to our ELL meetings. I know you are missing those times. So I wish you in your retirement less meetings and more fun. And um, thank you. It was always fun to work with you. Um, Zach Tileston, um, I'm sure you're going to miss our times making the schedule at the beginning of the year at the Oak Bluff School, which was always very interesting time for the band and string and music teachers. And I will miss sharing the um, schedule making time eye rolling that we, we shared as we passed each other in the hall in September during that fun time. And I miss that also with Nancy Jeffcoat as well, because that is a difficult time for you. And I'm sure you're not going to miss scheduling in September with us, especially not this September, which should prove even more of an eye rolling situation. Sue Miller, it doesn't seem possible that you are retiring, but congratulations. Um, I appreciated our time together in our spring fitness class, and I hope that you get a lot of time to take care of yourself in retirement. And lastly, our Donnie Cambra, our custodian at the Oak Bluff School, who was always good for conversation and a good laugh um, at the end of the day. I looked forward to you every day coming into my class at 2 o'clock and you will surely be missed as you have been for the last six months since you've gone in December. But um, I know you're enjoying retirement because I never see you around. So you must be somewhere enjoying every minute of it. So congratulations to you all. Um, like I said, this is a good year to retire and uh, you deserve it. To all the retirees, thank you for all you've done for me in the years past. Congratulations and enjoy your time off. Hi, congratulations for all your hard work in all these years and I wish you the best in the new phase of your life. Congratulations and I give you a big hug. Hi, I'd like to wish all the retirees from the Martha's Vineyard Public Schools a great retirement and a thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the work that you guys have done over the years had two kids that went through and they are just great and I know it's because of the work that all of you put in and I just want to say best wishes and enjoy that retirement because you deserve it and you worked hard for it bye-bye hi everyone we wanted to wish you um, happiness in your retirement we've known many of you um, for a long time. Um, some of you have taught our children or we've taught your children or whatever. And it's, it's been a wonderful experience working with you all. Um, and we wish you the best. Congratulations on your retirement. You've worked hard, so enjoy it. Congrats. Hi, I'd just like to congratulate all of the retirees of the Martha's Vineyard School System and especially the Egertown retirees this year. And a special shout out to Diane Smadbeck and Diane, if you need a candy jar, I just want you to know you know where to come and get it. Have a great retirement. Hi, Diane Smadback. I just want to wish you a wonderful retirement. I'm very excited for you. Sad for myself. Um, I really enjoyed you walking past my classroom and your supportive conversation. You're a lovely person and the children of Eggertown have been so lucky to have you in their lives as have the staff and myself. And it's been fun.
fun thinking about um, when I did some slip covers for you long ago when you still had young boys in the house. But you're a wonderful person and enjoy this next chapter of your life. Diane Smadbeck, Doreen here. Thank you so much for all of your collegial support and wonderful thoughts and ideas and wisdom and experience and years and years and years of service to all of our students and I really appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful retirement and I can't wait to hear about your adventures and I hope I could still uh, use you as a sounding board here and there when I need to because I would really appreciate that and um, I'll miss you in the trenches of special education. So happy retirement. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm behind you. Not too far, but enjoy. Bye. The list of retirees this year includes some amazing individuals. I don't know all of you personally, but so many of you I do have the privilege of knowing. Some of you I've worked with. Some of you I actually taught your children, and some of you actually taught my children. Your retirement is going to have a huge impact on the Martha's Vineyard school system. Currently, I work closely with one retiree, Patty Nelson. We are both part of the 5-6 team of teachers at the Agritown School. I want to send Patty a special message. Patty, I'm so happy that we work together. Your dedication to teaching and the students has been amazing, especially during this pandemic. You rose to the challenge. I will so miss not working with you next year. Wishing Patty and all of you the best on your retirement. Enjoy. You deserve it. Hi, Patty. There's been a very big mistake. You can't retire. You still have to do project period with me. Remember, we were going to do Enjoy Martha's Vineyard together. So I'm sorry, you're gonna to have to do one more year and so that we can do project period and then you can retire. I've really enjoyed getting to know you and the many lunches that we had together for uh, a little bit. Um, you're a very passionate teacher, and I love that. Very sensitive, too. I remember struggling with a couple kids and their behavior, and your lovely suggestion was to have lunch with them. And I just, that really touched my heart. I love that. And I'm excited for you. I have to say, you're really smiling a lot lately, um, but well-deserved in many years and you're so dedicated you're there very late at night like myself um, and I always found that a little bit of a bummer because I used to think as time goes on I'll be able to leave earlier and <laughs> I'd go past your room and you'd still be there on a Friday night really late and I thought oh there goes that theory <laughs> anyways good luck to you happy trails Hey Patty, I just wanted to let you know that it has been an absolute honor and privilege to work with you these past years. Um, you've become a friend, a mentor. Um, you never fail to amaze me, to make me laugh. I could vent to you, I could laugh with you, and I will miss seeing you every day. I wish you the best of luck with your retirement, although I can't see you retiring. Um, I love you and I can't wait to go back to Pilates with you and to laugh even more at ourselves and at the world and it's just been such a great time for me. I'll miss you so much and I love you. So enjoy. Hey David, congratulations on your retirement and just want to say thanks for being such a great teacher for Avery and Micah. Take care. David Faber, no, I was really hoping I'd get a couple more years with you. I was so sad when I heard you were retiring, but you are going to have so much fun. You have so many hobbies and um, I'm really going to miss you. You were very supportive of me. It was really nice coming back to teaching after um, so many years and into a new school and to have a familiar face there. And
and I really loved and made sure I came down to your wing once a week to have lunch and I really came to have it with you because I liked to keep that connection and otherwise our paths never crossed but um, I admire you you had incredible passion I remember a few years ago after so many years of teaching you spent the whole summer redoing your curriculum and I just thought that was so admirable. I think at that point in teaching, so many teachers don't want to put that time in. I don't know if I would, but you are so passionate about it. And, um, and I love that. And you like the kids too. And, and I will miss seeing you at school. And I hope you have lots of fun and that we still get to see you in our uh, community going out. Maybe you'll even join the lip sync. Who knows? But um, anyways, good luck to you and have fun. Hi, David Faber. I want to say thank you so much for all of the years of opening your classroom, opening your lab, opening your science knowledge to me and all of my little friends. I really appreciate it. You're an inspiration. I hope you enjoy retirement and I'm really going to miss seeing you around the hall. Bye. Congratulations, David Faber, on your retirement from the Eggertown School. We used to refer to you as Fabe, and we didn't think teachers could be fun and actually cool until we had you for middle school science. You would tell us stories about growing up in Wisconsin and talk with us about the latest episode of The Wonder Years. I remember when you sprayed that foul smelling pine scented air freshener in the corner of the room to teach us about the concept of diffusion. We made cells out of jello, spaghetti, hard boiled eggs, and plastic wrap. You made us name our earthworms and frogs before we dissected them. And I remember being terrified to hold the classroom snake, but I did it anyway because I didn't want to disappoint you. Thank you for everything you did for me as a student, and I know I wouldn't be where I am today without you. Good luck, enjoy retirement life, and I wish you the best. This poem goes out to all of the Martha's Vineyard educators who are retiring, but most especially my West Hillsbury friends, because this poem was written by my daughter, Hillary Stewart Dreyer, when she was in sixth grade at the West Hillsbury School. Moments of time. As the moments of time tick by and by, I get older and older. I move in and out of clothes, in and out of classrooms, in and out of people's hearts, all because of the moments of time. What if time could replay? Replay the happy and skip the mad. But no, the moments of time move evenly. A scale balanced between success and misery. Thank you all for providing my children with the best education possible. I love you all, you're an inspiration. Marcy Clapper, for me, you are the best thing that's ever happened to the ELL program on Martha's Vineyard. I appreciate always having an ally in you, and I'm really looking forward to hearing about everything you do in your retirement. Well, here it is, Marcy. A new horizon, a new chapter, a new bit of fun you can have and trouble you can get into with your husband and family members and all the kids and the grandkids and I wish you all the best and relaxation and love and adventure and happiness that could possibly come your way. Wish you the very best. Happy retirement. Bye. Hi Al. I'm wishing you a happy retirement. I'm going to miss working with you. I loved all the crazy projects that we did together and how you were up for any challenge for what we wanted to do with the kids. Um, I'll always remember crunching that deadline for those awesome calendars that we would do together and no matter what kind of issues we would come into you would always work to the very end to get them out. I'm gonna miss that. I wish you well in retirement with Sue. Hey Al, congratulations on retiring. Well hopefully I'll see you down at Be Strong this summer. Take care of yourself. 
Hey, this video is for Al Mahoney. Al, you're such an awesome tech teacher. Everybody at the school loves you. You always make learning technology fun for students. You make it come alive. You give them amazing nicknames. My students, my personal children will miss the nicknames for sure. Um, you work endless hours when the school's out newspaper needs to happen. You've been an awesome addition to the West Tisbury School and we will all miss you, but we wish you a wonderful retirement. We hope that you and Sue have many fun travels together and lots of time to relax and do all the things that you love to do. Enjoy. Bye, Al, uh, and also bye. Uh, it's it's gonna be uh, tough on the kids, I'm sure, that you're not gonna be around. I know that all the students that I've worked with are um, are gonna miss you, and I will as well. I remember the first year that I was at Westersbury, you were very welcoming, uh, and uh, as as was your wife, and. Um, we uh, we hung out a lot more than we did we did in subsequent years because I got really busy with kids, but I really appreciated your sense of humor. Uh, and I, I know I know what the students do as well, so you will be missed quite a bit. Um, I hope that you have a good time in retirement, and that um, yeah, that you 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 and uh, Sue are happy together and get to travel and all that. Uh, all right, bon voyage, my friend. Uh, hope, hope to see you again before too long. Bye. Hi, Al. Um, I just wanted to say um, enjoy retirement, but I know you will. I know you have lots of great things planned, and I know you, you will live retirement to the fullest. But I did want to let you know that I will miss you as my next door neighbor. Um, I really enjoyed having you next door. I really appreciated your creativity, your sense of humor your toys <laughs> so much about you um and it will be missed i will miss working with you on the play and i'm probably not gonna i'm not gonna miss schools out but i'll miss working with you on schools out so um all that to say enjoy retirement i'm very envious because i know you are going to have a very full time and a very joyous time in retirement which is absolutely perfect be well friend i'll see you around this message for uh, Alan Mahoney. Um, it's nice to see you out in the fields, baseball and softball fields, umping the games and being involved in youth sports. Congratulations on your retirement. Hi, Al Mahoney. Very excited for you and Sue to be retiring. And I'm so glad Ava got to spend some time with you. You are a bottle of sunshine just smiley and you get a giggle out of the kids and you are a nice addition to the West Tisbury School. Have fun, travel, fish, four wheel out to the beach and just enjoy this next chapter of your life. I hope I will see you around. Bye. Happy retirement to Al and Susan. I hope you guys have an adventurous next chapter of your life and i thank you for everything you've done and i'll miss bowling with you al maybe you can come back as a sub once in a while if you're not traveling somewhere far away and susan it's been great knowing you guys for all these years and i hope i hear of your adventures in the future happy retirement hi there this is for sue miller so Sue, I want to wish you a wonderful uh, retirement. I hope you enjoy doing many activities that uh, you've always looked forward to and traveling and all kinds of great stuff. If I were going to think of one thing that I really always enjoyed through the years working with you, I think you would probably uh, be looking out at you sitting in the audience at the uh, concerts, all the different concerts supporting the fifth graders and all the kids from West Tisbury School and taking the pictures. I really appreciate what you did through the years. And also, I just loved having you come on our springtime field trip when we went to Rochester. And it was the um, very last hurrah of the year type of thing. I knew summer was on its way. So, so I'll miss seeing you around next year in the hallways, but I wish you the best always. Enjoy your time. Hello, Sue. I just want to say happy retirement. I feel very confident that you and Al are going to have like the most fantastic retirement ever and I'm actually quite envious of that at this point in my life and I'm so excited to hear about New Zealand and that trip. Um, but I also wanted just to say 
Thank you. Thank you on two levels. Thank you for teaching my children and for being that phenomenal teacher um, at that critical point in their lives, that, you know, bridge between little kid and big kid. I really appreciate that. And I also wanted to thank you for being such a great co-worker and collaborator. I'm certainly going to miss our big, crazy collaborations that we always plunked right at the end of the year. And I'm so sad we didn't do the that micro, you know, universe we were thinking about collaborating on. Um, but maybe, maybe I'll shoot you an email next year and you'll come out of retirement for that one. Um, I hope so. I wish you all the best, and I just want you to know that I will miss you, and you will be missed at the West Coast. Hi, Sue. Kevin here. Uh, I wanted to tell you how much I'm going to miss you personally uh, once, you, once you're once oh, you out of school. Um, I guess already, since we haven't been seeing each other much at all, you've always been um, in my corner academically and, and otherwise, uh, and you've always been there for me. I really appreciate it. And uh, you've always been there for your students as well, and unafraid to stand up for whatever you thought was right um, for uh, those you cared about. And I appreciated that about you. I appreciated. Uh, I've always appreciated, and will continue to appreciate how um, how honest you are and how genuine. Uh, and uh, the fact that when I'm speaking to you, I always know that you are uh, speaking sincerely with me. It's very, very clear. Um, and it is more appreciated than I can say. Uh, I'm really gonna miss you at school very, very much. Um, and uh, I hope we, I hope to see you soon. Okay, bye for now, Sue. Hi, Sue Miller. Congratulations on your retirement. I'm so happy for you. This broke a vacan. I'm so happy that I was um, granted the chance to work in fifth grade alongside Pat Kelly and got to work with both of you. Um, I enjoyed our trip to the Science Museum, and um, I wish you all the best, and I hope you have a wonderful summer and on to brand new adventures. Take care. Hey, this video is for Sue Miller. My name is Sarah Karlinski. Um, I've had the pleasure of being Sue's assistant in her classroom for three years, and she always made me feel valued and heard, and she's just an amazing educator. She always did everything that she could to make learning fun for students, um, whether it be dressing up as Aunt Sally to teach PEMDAS, those are some of my favorite times, um, to making up games and rhymes to help students learn concepts and to remember different things and make learning exciting and fun. And it would always be really great when something would click with a student and she'd get so excited and she'd say, yes, you got it. Sue, so you're an amazing educator. You've become not only a colleague, but a dear friend, and I wish you nothing but the happiest of retirements. I hope that you and Al have so many fun times traveling and relaxing and just having a wonderful time. You deserve all the happiness in the world. This video is for Sue Miller. Um, oh boy, where do I start? I started out my teaching career a long time ago with you, Sue. Um, as an assistant with you when you were a math and special ed teacher at our school. Um, I learned so much from you, even in those early days. Um, for example, the Picanata Fermi game, I learned from you and I still play it every year to this day with my kids and they love it. Um, we uh, had some separation in our careers and I worked at different schools and you changed um, different um, areas and then we reconnected and I got to do my student teaching with you and one of the most um, valuable memories that I still hold dear to me is um, the mistakes that I made in my student teaching and even um, that uh, spelling homework assignment that I won't go into detail here but I think you know what I'm talking about you never made me feel bad um, about anything and always took a teaching opportunity to help and um, I just learned so much from your patience and your guidance and you gave me a card at the end of that student teaching experience and I still have it today right here. I keep it on my desk and I actually brought it home with me during the remote learning craziness to just keep this in mind and on the cover it says people are supposed to make mistakes that's why we have erasers. And I actually use this card with my kids all the time. You're gonna be very missed. Please come back and visit and say hello. Enjoy your retirement with Al. Hi 
Hi, Terry. Kevin here. Uh, I, I know that you and I never worked directly together, but I always very much uh, enjoyed and respected the work that I saw you do from a distance, um, at, at either as when I was special ed teacher or uh, as fourth grade teacher. And uh, very much respect <laughs> is, is in summary what I'm saying to you. Uh, I hope that you enjoy retirement. I, I think that you're still going to be here in the first half of next year, but I could be mistaken. If if I'm uh, if I'm wrong, then um, bon voyage and have an awesome uh, an awesome retirement. If I'm right, then I will see you in the fall. Hi, this video is for Terry Mello. My name is Sarah Karlinski. I have had the privilege of working with Terry at the West Tisbury School. Um, my two younger children had her as their kindergarten teachers. What can you even say about Terry? She is an amazing educator. She has an endless amount of patience. Seriously, I have never met another human being with as much patience as Terry. She has started out so many young students on their way to having wonderful school careers. Terry, we will miss you so much at the West Tisbury School, but we wish you nothing but a happy, long, healthy retirement filled with fun and all of the relaxation that you deserve. Mwah. Terry, I just wanted to say that working with you and having you as a neighbor and also having you as someone who taught my kid across the board, all of these have been phenomenal experiences. First of all, I just want to thank you for being such an amazing teacher. Um, my kids had an unbelievable time in kindergarten, but your knowledge of children um, and helping us understand our children was amazing. Um, as a neighbor and a co-worker, same thing, you're phenomenal. You were always great to bend your ear. If I was having trouble with a student, you're just, you're so, your depth of knowledge is un unbelievable. How you understand people is so amazing and it was always helpful. But it was also just plain fun having you near. I wish you the best in, in the rest. I'm sure your garden is gonna look spectacular, but you need to know that you will totally be missed. I will miss you greatly. Best of luck in all you do. Ciao. This video is for Terry Mallow. Terry, I really am gonna miss you in our cluster. Um, I have valued you as a teacher and a professional um, so much. You've taught me a lot about being a teacher and um, most of all I love your perspective of West Tisbury before standards and what the community um, was like when um, teachers really could drive their own boat. Um, I really appreciate your perspective in that and not only that um, were you my teacher as a teacher but you were my girls teacher and they got to experience West Tisbury through your lens and your experiences. You're going to be missed on very many levels and I wish you so much joy in your retirement and please come back and visit. Hi, I'd like to say a few words about Terry Mello. <laughs> Terry, I think I started at West Hisbury School about 10 years ago. That's when I met you. I was working in kindergarten. And I remember when I first came into your classroom, I saw these giant, massive paper mache puppets hanging from the ceiling. They were gorgeous. They looked professional. I thought I was in New York City on Broadway. And I was like, what are, what are these? I had never seen anything like that in a classroom. And you and Victoria told me that they were from a play that you did for Multicultural Day and that you do these plays once a year and the theme is different every year. And oh my God, I just could not believe the creativity and workmanship and they, these plays that you did every year were so gorgeous and each play in and of itself really was like a mini masterpiece. And um, you were an amazing kindergarten teacher. You will be missed um, by everyone. And really, I, I just, I can't say enough about you. I love you, Terry. This video is for Robin Maciel Wingate. 
Miss Wingate, we miss you so much at West Tisbury School. You are such an amazing teacher. You always pushed your students to do their very best. Our oldest son, who you know very well, is going to be a sophomore in college, and to this day, he talks about the skills that you taught him on how to write a proper bibliography, which he uses even now. So the lessons that you teach your students, stick with them for years, and we will all miss you, but we wish you nothing but health and happiness and such a wonderful retirement, all the relaxation that you can get. You deserve it. We'll miss you. Hello, Robin. Um, I just wanted to say a few things. Uh, firstly, as a teacher of someone who taught my child for two years, I just want to say thank you. I really firmly believe you are an exceptional teacher, as does my child, Georgia. Um, she really enjoyed your class and um, you taught her so many amazing things, but also skills that will help her for the rest of her life. You really raised the bar um, for her about, um, you know, quality of work that is expected. And I really appreciate that. As a coworker, you are absolutely a pleasure. I'm going to miss you around the halls. I'm going to miss talking to you about work, about kids. Um, very much. I always, always appreciated your insight. And I'm going to miss you as a human being. You were, are a lovely human being. And I just really enjoyed always uh, chatting with you. Um, good luck in the rest that you do. And I really hope I see you around. And please know that you are missed at the West Jersey School. Bye. Hi, this video is for Robin Wingate Maciel. And I want to say congratulations on your um, retirement and of course Robin you were my basketball coach when I was in eighth grade and then we went on to be colleagues um, as history teachers together and then Cole was the coach of all of my boys in basketball and I just love that our lives have collided in so many different ways and you have been an inspiration to me as a history teacher but also as a person who dedicates a lot of time to their community and stands for the things that I stand for. So I hope you can enjoy this time off. Please give yourself a break, uh, feel healthy, and um, embrace this opportunity to not go to school in September and enjoy the fall on the vineyard. I love you and thank you for all that you have done. Bye. Love, Stacy. This is for Robin Maceo. Hey, Robin. Um, you know what? It's hard to come up with uh, what I'm going to miss most about you because we've worked together for quite a few years in West Tis. But I think what I have really appreciated about you was when I had to make that dreadful schedule at the beginning of every year. And I knew I could come to you with a list of band kids and you supported the program and you understood how important it was that they were able to uh, do instrumental music as well as all their academics. So I miss seeing you in the hallways already, but I hope you're on your way to enjoying your retirement and you're in the groove and you know what it's like and you're doing some of your favorite things. So Robin, best wishes to you always and uh, hope to see you around town. Bye. Robin, I wanna say congratulations on your retirement. I've enjoyed um, in the years past being able to umpire basketball games with you and it's nice to have another female out there in the sports. I just wanna say best of luck in your retirement. Hello, Robin Wingate. Uh, we miss you already <laughs> very much. I miss you even though I'm not even in the same wing of the school as you anymore. And we never actually worked directly together, but I always uh, very much respected you and always felt like you were there and uh, for for any of us who needed support in a, in a real way. So thank you very much for that, um, for that uh, genuineness and for always being yourself, your, your true self. It really uh, makes a big difference. And uh, you are already missed. And once again, although although I, I don't work on the same side of the school as you, I already miss seeing you around. So hopefully I'll continue to see you at the grocery store occasionally. Uh, I hope you're having a good time so far. <laughs> uh, you know, all things considered. And uh, have, a, have a wonderful summer, uh, Robin, if I don't see you. Robin and Stacy, thank you for all the wonderful food. And Debbie Meyerhoff, I will miss you. You're my role model. Enjoy your retirement.
Debbie Meyerhoff, I will always think of you when we have a snow day because Meyerhoff always came before Miranda on the phone tree at school. I always appreciated getting that call from you early in the morning. Enjoy every minute of your retirement. You deserve it. Debbie Meyerhoff, I'm going to miss seeing you every day. Robin, you've been my confidant, and Stacy, you've helped keep weight on me. Thank you all, and happy retirement. Glenn Maciel, uh, we are going to miss your smiles and your jokes, and you made us laugh, even with your grumpy grumbling every day at the Tisbury School. But um, seriously, though, we're going to miss you. You've been there a long time, and um, we'll have to just go next door to see your face. Happy retirement. Robin Smith, I want to thank you so much for all of your years of tremendous service. You're passionate, you're committed, you're dedicated to this profession, and I'm so fortunate to have had my children learn to read under your guidance. Thank you so much for all of your years of service, and cheers to retirement. Robin Smith, congratulations on your retirement. I remember starting at the Chilmark School many, many years ago in the old building where I taught in the front of the building for the 2-3 class and you were in the back of the building and Lynn was in the trailer and I just remember how welcoming you were and I really will always remember your love and your passion for teaching. That Chilmark School is going to miss you a whole bunch. You were really the heart and soul of that school. So thank you for welcoming me and uh, enjoy your next adventure in retirement. Congratulations on your retirement! Thank you for teaching us about butterflies. Thank you for teaching us about letterland. Thank you for teaching us about the nature around us. Thank you for teaching us about seahorses. Through all of this, we learned friendship, inclusion, confidence, and love. Thank you, Robin! Hey Sally, Doreen here, wishing you a very happy retirement and lots of years full of fun and happiness and new beginnings and adventures and things to do. It was great working with you um, with the high school connection that we had and I just wish you all the best. Happy retirement. Hey Bonnie, congratulations on retiring. Thanks for all your help over the years. Take care. This video is for Bonnie Hilton. Hey, Bonzo, uh, nothing I can say. I know you're enjoying yourself um, already. Um, and all I'm going to tell you is you're as free as a bird now and do whatever you need to do, whatever makes you happy. So take care. Ruth, um, so favorite memory for your tribute. Um, I think when we were at Great East and the bass clarinet uh, lost its pad and we had to come up with a solution and came up with the idea of uh, taking gum and sticking it on the pad and getting that baby to work. So um, that was that was one of the great memories. And uh, the other one is all the technical faulties that you and Julie and I came up with through the years during our um, time working together. So anyway, best wishes to you for a wonderful retirement. I'm sure you're going to enjoy your family and I hope everybody's healthy and um, the students will miss you, I know, um, next year. Best to you all, Isaac. Bye. This is a happy retirement message for Donnie Combra. Doreen here and I hope you have a an amazing retirement and I thank you so much for all your years of dedication and hard work and keeping things clean and organized and fixing things and moving things and just everything you were always amazing and I hope you have an incredible next chapter and I'm jealous <laughs> bye
Jen Robinson, congratulations on your retirement. Um, thank you for also being Ruby's second grade teacher. She always told me all the time that she had the most fun second grade teacher. Yeah, I tried not to feel bad about that. Um, and also, when you are in retirement, I do expect you to be leading the singing of the second graders at the Senior Center in Oak Bluffs. So I will need to be contacting you about that. And also, I do expect you to be a volunteer for the Bridges Together program to come in and work with our second graders every Friday. But really, I hope you have plans for lots of fun and enjoyment with your family. Congratulations on your retirement. Hey, Jen. Congratulations on retiring. Hope to see you down at Be Strong this summer. Congratulations again. Take care of yourself. Hi, this video is for Jen Robinson. Jen, I just wanted to congratulate you on your retirement. And I wanted just one memory, mention a memory that I had when um, Owen was born in 2000. I will never forget that you brought me a gift, a teddy bear or a little, a little stuffed animal to um, recognize how hard it was to go back to school when you had an infant at home as you had done the same thing with probably Paul and James. And um, I never forgot that. It always, it just always stayed with me what a kind gesture that was. So uh, I hope you have the most amazing retirement and that you cruise and that you appreciate the fall on the vineyard and that um, you really embrace all there is still left to do. Um, congratulations and have a wonderful retirement. Love, Stacy. Congratulations on your retirement, Jen. First, I wanted to thank you for being a phenomenal kindergarten teacher to my three older children. And as you will see in another video that they created, um, they definitely learned a lot of very important life lessons uh, back in kindergarten. Uh, second, I'm so glad you transitioned from kindergarten to second grade, giving us an opportunity to really work together. And it was definitely my pleasure to come into your classroom to see how it was operating and to work with your students. And lastly, I know that we will not be strangers to each other. I will see you in our community and hopefully we'll have other opportunities to work together and have a lot of fun. So um, it's just a congratulations on your retirement. You're not going anywhere and I will be seeing you. Jennifer Robinson, Doreen here, and I am wishing you a very happy retirement. I, um, it's been a lot of years, uh, both personally and professionally, that we've uh, known each other. And since the first maternity leave I did for you for Paul, way back when, all grown up now that he is, um, well, I thank you so much for being a part of our Oak Bluff School community forever and all of my tenure for sure. And I really uh, will miss you and I hope you have a wonderful, relaxing retirement. And I wish you all the very best um, and I'm jealous and take care. This message is for Mrs. Robinson. I just want to say thank you so much for being my daughter's teacher this year and for really um, thinking of the students this year and um, continuing her love of learning. And I wish you the best and maybe we'll see you on the beach. Congratulations. Hi, Jen. Um, I am thinking back to years ago, which seems like yesterday and also a really long time ago. Um, it's it's hard to have those two pieces together um, and I think that about getting started when you were Mrs. Maurice and then became Miss Desitel and then finally meeting Clifton and becoming Mrs. Robinson we had some good times there in first grade uh, I remember reading the kids uh, James and the Giant Peach and playing with rods and doing math with rods and watching Lois play Klondike on the computer. Um, thinking about what those poor women did on the Mayflower. Yeah, those poor women. And uh, having some inside jokes, like having the uh, desk liquor in the hall and um, all sorts of things. And then we moved to the new school where each of us moved around quite a bit. You uh, moving eventually to 
kindergarten and then up to second grade and me moving around as well. And I, I think all that movement helps to make uh, people better teachers. And uh, you were pretty good to start. So moving around, m making you better was could be really something. And um, I have to say, um, I feel like the biggest gift that you have given me as a teacher is to remember that childhood is short and it's getting shorter. And um, give the kids a chance to be the children that they are and make school fun for them. Because um, really in the end, they hardly ever remember those killer lessons that we taught, but they do remember all those things where they enjoyed their time at school with the teachers and with each other. So I thank you for that gift because I will never forget it. And please, you and Cliffy, and enjoy your time, retirement time with the boys and with everything that you like to do. All right. We will miss you. I will miss you. All right. Enjoy. Love you. Hi there, this is for Janet Sylvia. Janet, I had a lot of fond memories of you helping us get all of the correct band funds and paperwork done through the years. Uh, I appreciate all the time that you took with us and I wish you a wonderful retirement. I hope that you enjoy your family, friends, get out there and do things that you just love to do. So best to you always, Janet, and thank you for all your help through the years. Hi, Janet. It's Barbara Armstrong. I miss you very much at school. And I do hope once I retire that you and I might be able to get together in the future. Um, I just have to say you're probably one of the hardest workers I have ever known. And it was an absolute pleasure um, working with you. So take care. And I do hope that we can get together. Take care. Bye. Jean Burke, it has been an honor and joy to work with you in the Martha's Vineyard Adult Learning Program. Um, that program exists because of you and you've made it a wonderful program. So on behalf of everybody who has benefited from that program, a huge thank you uh, goes out to you. And I'm glad that we've also become friends and I look forward to continuing that friendship with you in your retirement. Congratulations to all retirees. In particular, from the Tisbury School, congratulations and thank you to Glenn Maciel and Barbara Armstrong. Glenn, you've been at the school a long time. You started working here when I was a student in junior high. We've spent a lot of time together and it's an understatement to say, I will miss you tremendously. The entire Tisbury School will miss you tremendously. It's comforting to know that you live right around the corner, so you're close by if we need you. Barbara, you attended the Tisbury School years ago. I know the place is very special to you, and you're very special to all of us. We will miss you tremendously. And unlike Glenn, who lives just around the corner, you live all the way up in Menemsha, but we know where you live. So if we need you, we'll find you. Congratulations, Glenn. Congratulations, Barbara. Thank you for all you've done for our school, for the children of our school, for our community. It's greatly appreciated. We'll miss you and we wish you the best. Hello, Barbara and Glenn. For different reasons, our school could not run without either one of you. I wanna thank you both for giving your all to the school, the students and the staff. We are very grateful that you were there when we were to see true caring of the Tisbury School. Thank you so much again and congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, the class of 2020. Good luck. From the Tisbury School Library. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Glenn. It's Catherine. And Whitney. I uh, just wanted to say thank you for everything you do to keep our school running and organized. From morning till night, top to bottom, you keep Tisbury strong. All year long. I, you have big shoes to fill. Congratulations. Thank you. Best wishes. Bye-bye. Thanks.
Hey, Barbara. I just wanted to share um, a few things with you and wish you well on your retirement. Um, first of all, I have this lovely poster. Um, it says, Happy Retirement, Barbara. Congratulations. But um, if you uh, turn it around, it has your uh, pseudo name on it. Um, it says, Happy Retirement, um, Sylvia. Remember her? Um, anyway, um, I also wanted to share that special Halloween picture when you, when uh, me and Sylvia were together in the office. Um, it's a lovely picture and it's one of my keepsakes. And then I wanted to share um, a letter that was written by one of the students because I'm sure that you have a lot to go through uh, when you clean out your desk. It says, Dear Miss Shuffrin and Mrs. Armstrong, I'm sorry for yelling in the boys' bathroom. I will not do it again. I forgot MCAS was going on. I would not like it if I got off track because of the noise I was making either. From your friend, Chris. Very nice letter. I know we really appreciated that. And the last thing I'd like to do is just say a few quotes that you taught me. Um, the first one was, that's so interesting, Barbara. And uh, the next one was, wow, Barbara, you're amazing. And then the last one was, thank you for sharing that, Barbara. Well, thank you for sharing so much with me when we worked in the office together. And seriously, I do wish you a lot of happiness in your retirement. I hope it's stress-free. I love you. This video is for Barbara Armstrong and I'm actually going to be really sad not to see you next year. I think you've been around for pretty much as long as I've been there, um, which is getting to be a little bit of a long time, but I will miss your kindness and your smile and your laugh and really um, you've been a great friend to lean on and, and get advice and um, especially in photography and the arts and everything else and I think um, your presence will be missed and I hope that we can still um, see you from time to time, but you're one of the best. So congratulations on your retirement and um, enjoy yourself. This is for Barbara Armstrong. Hey, Barb, um, I know you're going to enjoy your retirement. You can't help but do it because you're up in Menemsha. No more traveling back and forth every day. Um, maybe once all this gets over, uh, I'll let you know when I'm coming up that way. We can get together. Okay, Barb, take care. My memories of Barbara Armstrong at the Tisbury School will always be those of a person who was incredibly dedicated to her job and one who genuinely cared for the Tisbury School staff, students, and community. We will miss her extensive knowledge of Tisbury School's day-to-day -day operations that Barbara possesses, which spans over 20 years. She is our power school guru and go-to person for just about anything and everything. But what I will miss the most will be the daily presence of a friend. And anyone who meets or has had the gift of working with Barbara knows that you immediately feel the warmth of her friendship. I congratulate Barbara on her retirement and wish her much happiness. Hi, Barbara. I just wanted to say thank you for all the support you've shown me throughout the years. I'm not even sure what I would have done without you. You helped me solve every problem that ever arose, and I really appreciate it. Um, I always felt a little privileged to know a Menemption native, and I love hearing stories about your family, and I hope to continue to hear some more. Um, I see you on Facebook, so that's one way I can still be in touch. And I wanted to also thank you for going to Spain because I might not have ventured out there if you had not um, encouraged me and had loved it so much when you were in high school. I'm not sure what we're going to do without you and um, you're really going to be missed. Enjoy and congratulations. Hi Barbara, it's Catherine. Um, I just wanted to say that you will be truly, truly missed. Um, the front office crew is a pretty special group of people um, who takes care of so many different things uh, for so many different people. You deal with the adults, you deal with the kids, um, and you care so much about them. You care about these Tisbury families, and 
you know, that will be really be missed. Um, you know, we've, we've laughed really hard. Um, we've even cried a little bit and, um, I'll really miss our, our little conversations that we have throughout the day. Um, you're a special, thoughtful, thoughtful, um, person. And, um, again, you'll really be missed next year. Um, and, uh, poor Esther is going to have to deal with me coming and asking all these questions. So hopefully we get to see you and, um, uh, enjoy your retirement. Um, but don't be a stranger. We'd love to, to see you pop in every once in a while or whenever you can. All right. Miss you. Love you. Barbara Armstrong. I hope you have a wonderful time at retirement. I already miss you, and I know the Tisbury School is going to miss you now, too. You gave that place such an, a wonderful, smiling face for so many years, and your level of detail and expertise and everything that you brought every day was great, but it was the relationship that we got to share, being side by side for years and years that I'm going to miss the most. Um, so to that end, I'm hoping that um, regardless of what people tell you, you are fascinating. And I hope at some point we can meet up at Humphreys and maybe have a Nesquik and a muffin. Thanks and happy retirement. Hello, Barbara Armstrong. I'm wearing this sweatshirt for you. Just wanted to uh, make sure you were able to see it. I just want to say that you are a rare person that is always kind and always caring. I am blessed to have worked with you. I am blessed to know you. You've been such a, a linchpin in making the Tisbury School a special place. And with all your support for children, their families, and our staff, I just want you to know that you have taught me much without you even knowing, I'm sure. I know you have supported many children and adults in the same wonderful way. My special memories of you, Barbara, are way too many to share in this tribute. Just please know that I will forever be grateful to you for your support of my family and my kids, and my wife, Missy. And, uh, and I, I just wish you all the best um, because you certainly deserve it. I'll miss you, Barbara. Take care. Barbara Armstrong, congratulations on your retirement from the Tisbury School. You are the face that everyone sees when they walk in the building. You have this warm, caring spirit and you have given our students, families, and staff so much in all of your years here. You can solve any problem and you are always there to help anyone. In fact, a common, a common phrase you often hear at the Tisbury School is, I don't know, I'll ask Barbara. When I started at the Tisbury School as an ESP, one of the first couple weeks I was here, I lost my key to the building. I didn't sleep at night the night before knowing that I would have to come in the next day and tell somebody. I was calculating how many weeks of my pay would be spent on changing the locks of the school I thought I might be fired, and luckily I thought of going to you, Barbara. You just looked at me, smiled, and you said, you didn't lose your key, you just misplaced it, and you, and you gave me another key. Well, you were right. I did find the original key, which was never really lost. Barbara, thank you for everything you've done for us all. I love you, and I'll miss you. Hi, Barbara. Congratulations on your retirement. You have been such a huge help to the Tisbury School in the many years that you've been there. Almost 17 in the front office, maybe 18. And I'll never forget when Donna left, I was so concerned about who would be able to step into her place in the front office and welcome all of our parents and new students and do all of the work that's required in a front office to make things run smoothly. And there you were with your unbridled enthusiasm and your intelligence and your caring about everybody and wanting to do things exactly the right way. You were such a huge help to me and I'm sure to all of the principals that you worked under and you deserve a wonderful retirement and I hope that you and John have a fabulous retirement going and doing exactly what you want to do now. You've certainly earned it. Take care. Hi Barbara. Happy retirement. Barbara, there is not enough time or words to thank you for everything that you've done for me and for everyone at Tisbury School. 
I will miss your stories, your laugh, and your amazing hugs. Thank you for everything. I hope you have the best time in retirement. Barbara, good luck and make sure you have lots of fun in retirement. I will simply miss you more than words can say. You've been like a second mother to me and I really appreciate all the love and care you've shown me throughout your career at the Tisbury School. I'm excited to add you to our sub list for kindergarten and I'll make sure that we call you as often as we can just so we can see your smiling face again. Barbara. It's because of you that I was hired at the Tisbury School, so thank you for that. I will miss you dearly and have enjoyed every second that we've spent together laughing, talking, eating chocolates, and sitting on the beach in Menemsha. I look forward to many more days like that with you, and hopefully we'll sail off into the sunset as well. Take care. Hey, Barbara. Tisbury School is not going to be the same without you. I'm going to really miss you and all of our office chats, but now I can come to Menemsha and we can chat and catch up and have chocolate together. Seriously, you're one of the best. You're always there, always willing to lend a hand, listen, advice. I can't tell you how many times we've talked and you've helped me solve problems and I'm really going to miss you. I hope you enjoy your retirement and you get to enjoy time with John and the grandkids and um, I hope to see you soon. Barbara, you are the face and the heart of the Tisbury School, and you have a true gift, and your gift is your ability to read faces, and no matter how busy you are and how bombarded you are every nanosecond, you look into students' or teachers' faces and you can say, how can I help? What do you need? And I thank you for that. You're compassionate, you're a problem solver. You are sweeter than Chilmark chocolate and more beautiful than a Menemsha sunset. Have a great retirement. We'll be in touch. Hi, Barbara. Well, I, um, I knew you as you started as the librarian specialist behind the scenes with Pat Ryan. And then when she took on, when you took on your present position, that's when I was able to see your true personality. No matter how busy you were, you always made me feel like I was the only per the only important person that mattered in that moment. I'll always be grateful for your humor, your patience, and your mischievous twinkle in those beautiful eyes of yours. We'll see you soon. You're not going far. I hope you enjoy your retirement. I hope you get to spend as much time with those beautiful grandchildren. You're a great grandmother, you're a great friend, and I'll miss you. Hi, Barbara. <clears throat> First of all, we aren't ready to say goodbye. So the staff and I have worked out a schedule to keep you company in Menemsha all summer long. Do you have a tent and maybe some air mattresses? Um, second of all, we don't think we'll be able to manage all the tasks you took care of and the people you handled, the phone calls you answered, and problems you addressed so we're going to set up a remote Tisbury School office in your mom's shop in Menemsha. Do you think Colin will mind moving some of his paintings? Um, lastly, will you just stay one more year? Love you, Barbara. We love you, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Love you. Barbara. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hi, Glenn, it's Barbara. I hope that you have a wonderful retirement and um, get out and do things and maybe we'll, we'll see you around. Hope you don't get too bored. Um, you can always watch some of your soap operas under your blanky wanky. Um, but in all truth, um, I'll miss you very much, Glenn. It's been wonderful working with you. We were wonderful with the um, all the staff, but you're also so wonderfully sweet with the children. and. Um, I'll miss you. It was, it's been a pleasure working with you. And you take care, and I hope to see you around. Take care. Hey, big guy. It's Marsha here, and I just wanted to wish you congratulations on your retirement and um, tell you um, how much I enjoyed working with you when you were at the Tisbury School. I'm sure you would have liked to have spent 
a lot fewer years there than you had intended from grade school up, but, um, but it was a fun place to work. And I just wanted to show you how special you were to me when you worked at the school. Um, when I retired um, four years ago, um, I put your picture up on my mantle because you were so special to me. And, um, and I really enjoyed working with you. Um, I always liked the way you would sweet talk me into writing up all your purchase orders. Um, not. Um, but anyway, sometimes Tom walks by the mantle and he says, what's Glenn's picture doing up there? And I just say, oh, don't worry about it. It's just Glenn. Anyway, seriously, um, I have never worked with anybody who never had a bad thing to say about anybody. And that's a really special attribute to have. And um, I just hope that Alice makes you a new blankie for your retirement, because I think that would be a really nice gift for you, because I know how much time you spend under that blankie. And um, I just want you to enjoy your retirement. So love you. Bye. Hey, Glenn. I, I, I uh, wanted you to see the sweatshirt. I actually didn't wear it for you. I wore it for Barbara Armstrong, but I just wanted to kind of rub that in. Um, I just, you know, I, I just bring up a memory. I first met you in the summer of 2002, July 9th to be exact. I remember coming home and telling Missy, there's this guy at Tisbury School that looks just like Rocky, and he talks just like Rocky, too. Hey, Glenn, I... I will miss you tremendously. You're one of a kind. You are a gentle force that embodies all that is good about the Tisbury School. Your tremendous devotion to the children at that school is, is truly special, Glenn. Um, though we don't get out like we used to, I just want you to know I'll always count you as one of my closest friends and one of my favorite in, in, um, people that I've met here on this, on this island. Just remember that you still need to write that book called The Zen of Glenn. Just a picture book, just extreme close-ups of, of you, um, your face, your head, and uh, just your sayings. Um, congratulations, Glenn, on your retirement. You are most deserving, and I can't wait to see you um, out and about. Take care. My memories of Glenn Maciel are those of a gentle giant with a huge heart. Once you get to know Glenn, you see his kindness shine through brightly. I will miss his gentle humming as he strolls through the halls, and his humor always makes me smile. He is part of the soul of the Tisbury School, having been student and staff. I cannot imagine what the Tisbury School will be like without his daily presence. I just hope he comes back to visit often. I wish Glenn a well-deserved and happy retirement. Glenn Maciel, I thought this day would never come. Happy retirement. I'm so glad you're taking a break from work after your 100 years or so of working at the Tisbury School. Hey, you, you totally deserve it. Um, you put a lot of time into that place and you're literally a cornerstone um, of what, what that place is. So I hope you and Robin enjoy your retirement quite a bit. I've already missed you a ton this year not working with you and I know next year Tisbury is going to miss you too. So have a wonderful time during your retirement. Maybe I'll stop by the garage for a beverage sometime. This video is for Glenn Maciel only. Glenny, I remember when you used to run and hide from that voice every time you heard it. Um, I know that you're going to do fine in retirement. You're going to get a nice big TV and watch all the reruns of Bonanza. I think probably you should take Aaron and Michael on that vacation to Hawaii that you wanted to go to. Um, I hope you keep yourself healthy, though, and walk a little bit and find some interesting things to do, Glenn. Um, you know, I know you really cared about the building and the people in it, Glenn. And when they get school all back together and you're not there, everybody's going to really miss you. Um, and I just got to say, you and I had some great talks. Uh, we had a lot of laughs and we had some great fights. Like I said, it was like being married to you. And I still say, poor Robin. 
Um, but I want you to take care of yourself and uh, think of us all fondly and uh, we'll probably see you around. Okay, Glenny. Um, congratulations to Robin, by the way. And uh, say hi to Sherry for me. Okay, hon. Love you. Bye. Hi, Glenn. It's a beautiful night in Georgia, but I'm thinking about you, and I want to wish you congratulations on your retirement. There has never been anybody who's been as loyal to Tisbury School as you have. I know there were many, many years and many, many mornings when you were up at 4 o'clock in the morning over there at the school making sure that everything was ready for when the kids got there and the teachers did. And so we are all so very grateful to you for all those years. You made us laugh, um, and we just really enjoyed having you there. And I hope that you have a wonderful retirement. You certainly deserve it. Bye. Glenn Maciel, congratulations on your retirement from the Tisbury School. I don't know anyone who loves this place more than you do. You spent the majority of your life in this building, first as a student, and then almost 40 years taking care of it. I want to thank you for not applying for the assistant principal's job, as you frequently remind me that you stepped aside so I could have a chance at it. I'll miss your stories, and especially the one where you and Michael decided to take a ride on a particular Sunday and pop over to Richie's house to say hi. Little did you realize that it was Mother's Day. However, being that it was Richie and Missy, they gave you a tour of their house. Thank you for everything you've done for our school. I'm still waiting for that eight by 10 glossy you keep promising me for my office. I love you and I'll miss you. Hi, Glenn. So John and I had a long talk last night about your retirement. And for one, we don't think that the Lady Tigers are ready to see you go. Um, secondly, John will not be able to handle um, all the responsibilities without you there to bounce ideas off of and to get your insights. Uh, let's be honest, you are the engine that powers the Tisbury School. And finally, when all else fails, you have always been there to make us laugh. Although it is true, when there's a story to tell about something you've said, John can imitate your deep gravelly, some may say sexy voice, perfectly. So, in summary, don't go, but if you do, keep coming back to tell us stories and guide us through the tough times with that weathered movie star voice of yours. Hi Glenn, happy retirement. Just wanna take a second to say how honored I feel to be one of the Tisbury staff members with a Glenn nickname. For the first three years of my stay at Tisbury, you always called me D'Angelo. I'll never forget it. But I am glad that you now know my real name. But the best of all was your new nickname for me, Cricket. If I ever, ever find another creature in my closet, I'll be sure to call you. Hopefully it will just be another Cricket. Happy retirement. Hey Glenn, congratulations on your retirement. I can't imagine the Tisbury School without you. You've been there longer than almost anyone I've ever known to work at the Tisbury School. Um, I thought I knew a lot about you and I recently learned that Back in the day, you used to play basketball out on the basketball court with the middle school kids. And the person that told me the story said that he was pretty convinced that you were, thought you were Larry Bird. And when you would say some sort of Larry Bird quote as you would sink a hoop, um, wish I was around back then to see you do that. And, uh, but I am honestly gonna miss you a lot and good luck, have fun, and please come back to visit. Hey Glenn, it's Meredith. Thanks very much for being such a great guy and taking care of our classroom. After listening to Rita's story, I realized that now that you're retired, you're going to have a lot of time. So maybe you and I can meet at the basketball court and we can shoot some hoops together. Me, Larry Bird, and you. Have a great time. Enjoy your retirement. Hey Glenn. Blue Eyes here. Really going to miss you. Tisbury School is not going to be the same without you, especially when I'm walking by the cafeteria or going to get my kids and I look in the boiler room and I don't see you sitting there. Hey. Hi, Glenn. I think I have the esteemed honor of working the longest with you. 
very close with Allison. You greeted me decades ago, straight out of college. And my name was Annie, and you're the only one that remembers me as Annie, and I, I'll miss hearing that in the corridors. My claim to fame back then was I went to the University of Michigan, and they happened to have a national championship early on, so that was fun. Sincerely, it always felt great to know I could ask you anything, and the answer was always yes. How can I help? And I'm going to miss you, and I will now have the crown of the longest Yes, years in service. So thank you for that and have fun. Hi, Glenn. Allison here, your favorite. Um, I, I'm a little disappointed when I was disappointed when I heard you were retiring because we, I thought we had an understanding that we were going to go out um, with a bang together. Um, so I'll have to, I'll have to do what I can to get over that disappointment. But um, I do want to thank you for always coming to my rescue, whether it be for the for the air, the heating conductor, or um, using a ladder, cleaning up the ceiling that fell down on us, um, you name it, just, just in, all in all in general. Um, and uh, I appreciate uh, being the first person to get the flags for walk to Owen Park. And um, I hope you have a wonderful retirement and you relax and you enjoy the things that you like to do, but please come back and visit. Glenn, we're gonna miss you. Happy retirement. Bye. 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 Bye.